Welcome back to Timber Bonus. This might be the finale, or maybe not, who knows not me, but first we need to build a big dam. Because we haven't yet, actual beavers may not be a fan until this is built. We must appeal to everyone because that's how YouTube works. If you only have a small fan base and your videos won't go very far because over time people generally lose interest so you need to keep getting a new audience. <gasps> yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timber Borders. And remember, we are in the brand new update now, which is live for everyone. Uh, but as you as you heard in the song, I, I, need to, I need to expand this. I mean, this is cool. We've got various different foods growing, including the mm -hmm. eggplants, lovely jubbly. We've got unlimited steel production down here now. We're making all sorts over here. I think they're, they're the number crunchers. Yeah, making science in the background. We're storing canola oil and canola's this plant here. Man, things are actually pretty good, but I have big beaver ambitions. And sort of, I, I want to work on two things as well. We got, we got the dam going on, which I will start building in a bit. But in the meantime, I think we're going to come over here. We're going to turn all of these back on. Now, this is where our bots are built. Because if you remember, we have we have beavers. They've been, they've been through a lot of beavers. They've been through drought. They've been through famine. They've been through drowning. Maybe some may have got accidentally exploded by dynamite because I accidentally pressed the button at the wrong time. But basically, they've been through a lot. So my aim is to have them always sat on their bums, always sat in the pub. I mean, ideally, you would actually be of age to drink, but still. And basically, I just want my beavers to relax. They've been through enough. They, they don't need any more hardship in their lives. So my aim is to keep making these bots. So who's that? General Tesla bringing logs to... Yeah, he's taking it to that that engine uh, to give us power. So yeah, let's multiply the number of bots we have. And I think I probably need to unlock this button here so that bots will work in here because then they'll work through the night. Because at the moment, well, not just at the moment, just any time, beavers, they'll only work during their working hours, which you can see up here in this clock, it's only drawing the yellow side. So they're about to clock off for the night, but the, the beaver bots, they will continue. So let's unlock firstly that for 5,000 science. We got 47. So yeah, easily afford that. So for all these bot parts, factories we will turn them to bots and then for these assemblers that's where the bots are actually built i need to unlock the same 10,000 science oh okay well we'll unlock that thankfully that does unlock it for all of them so that's all good and then we'll just unpause all of these oh now it's night time i can see where they're working because these yeah these log pumpers they got the blue lights so that means there's a bot in there so old nate is in there he's pumping his wood all the way through the night meanwhile beavers they are just chilling out by the campfire enjoying life and that is what we want from our beaver colony it's time to thrive and yeah in order to keep the power running i'm pretty sure these engines i can prioritize by haulers and then although no one's actually working in any of these you can see they're all empty i think haulers will keep fueling them so essentially they're run without needing extra beavers so that is always good uh, meanwhile down here you can see the first new bot is being built why why are you sat on your butt mate uh zoe puppy girl what are you doing oh it looks like you're waiting for limbs and bot heads okay who's working on those All right bot heads is jordan miller come on mate do some work do some work mate i mean actually maybe i should prioritize these by haulers as well just so they are getting everything they need and where is my hoarding post it's all the way over here how many beavers oh, okay it's, it's completely full it is completely full right okay we got to the point where both of them are being built now so that's gonna get us more bots and then as we get more bots we can get more bots and hopefully they will run the the entire colony so we're just gonna leave that running Whilst we have a look at why I think I need a dam. I mean, the first reason is there's now no district limit. So I can literally build wherever I want. I don't have to worry about like building a new district just to build stuff. Like what I had to do with all systems go. Because look how that ended up underwater. But yeah, basically, since there's so much water coming in. Like we got like one, two, three, four different areas where water spawns. So I was thinking we should probably make like a huge water storage area. Because the droughts are getting longer. Like this map is actually turning into the original Timberborn gameplay style. It started off with the waters rising and everything was flooding, but now we actually need to manage water. So what I'm thinking is we start designing this. So I reckon, I don't even know like how big or where I want this. That's what she said. <laughs> I feel like, do I just want like all of that? stretch like along there if we were to just diagonal this and see where it ends up oh man this is a long dam this is gonna take a while to build but yeah that could 
That could work. Although I'm, I'm thinking, I am trying to think like a structure engineer here. That's not going to be very strong. We need it to sort of curve back a little bit because that adds a lot more strength. But yeah, if we just delete all of these and just fill in all the little gaps. Nice. Then we end up with something that's going to be very, very structural. Okay, this is good. This is actually pretty decent. And look, you can see they've already started working on it. So if I build this up at this end, they should start building that. And then they got something to walk on to start building in this direction. Okay, cool. Cool. Actually, actually, how high do I want the dam? Because over this way, yeah, I don't want this stuff to go underwater. This is what I'm trying to water. Because can you see that's brown? That's because it's so far away from this water during the drought. But if we sort of flood this area up to that level, then we should be able to plant all this and then probably plant over this side as well. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh, look, look up there. The old the old algae thing is dripping water. I didn't know it dripped water on. That's cool. But yeah, right. What I'm going to do up here then is put stairs. So it's one it's one set lower and then they can walk. Well, actually, they can't walk. No, they can't walk across their map. You need stairs on that one because that will link to the next one. Yeah, cool. OK, good. So I guess we'll just keep building like that. And then, yeah, you can sort of see how they'll be able to walk along that now. So this should get built very nicely. Uh, but the thing is, we don't want it to be a dam the whole way through. We're going to have to put some triple floodgates in. And then, oh yeah, because they're only triple, they're not as tall. So we may need some sort of like structure that allows water to come down, like a multi-stage floodgate perhaps. Yeah, so this is the center of the dam. So what I'm thinking, if I delete like either side like that, then we can fit the triple floodgates like that. And that should let water down either side. Although, what is that next to it? Metal floodgates. Wait, what? Bigger, better floodgate. What? These go up to 10? Hang on, let's grab the five and just see how this works. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. Okay, they take a lot of resources. Scrap metal gears, treated planks, which are pricey, and metal blocks. But I think they'll work a lot better than the triple situation. Actually, maybe I can replace like all this middle with them. So I think we want fives like that. Same on this side. But then it drops down. So we need we need to unlock the sixth one for 1400 science. Still, that is those. And oh, the downside with this, they're not going to be able to build all the way across. So yeah, I think we'll need... Oh, we're going to need temporary blooming platforms around the back. Is there any like super sized platforms? No, not really. Okay, well, we'll, be we'll build these around the back. So this is just scaffolding, essentially. And then we're back to the dam building. So as long as we just do that all at the same height, they'll be able to walk from one side to the other. Beautiful. So that is what that's going to look like when done. You can see they're actually... they're. They're getting their way through it. Fair play, little beavers. You're working hard building that dam. But yeah, in the meantime, actually, where's my, where's my propaganda sign gone? Look, down here, we still have most helpful billboards. So let's have a look. Is, ah, here we go. It, oh, look, they've actually, no way. <laughs> they've updated it. Okay, nice. Sign is going there. <laughs> Look, they actually put the red line through it because I did actually allow the sign. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Actually, what other signs are there? I'm sure that will work. Hang on, that's got me on it as well. What does that say? Real civil engineer did not give me lots of cash yet. Yeah. All right. All right. That old chestnut. I mean, to be fair, that's, that's a good a message from a beavers as anything. <laughs> All right, well, that's the signing situation. Oh, no, look. Jordan Miller has broken down. Oh, no. What? Bots can die? How? No. Bots can die? I didn't know bots can die. Oh, that scuppers my plans a bit. Oh, Jordan Miller. He was my first bot. He's my longest serving Patreon. and my first ever bot. And now he's gone. Actually, the eggplants. Sorry, I'm distracted by eggplants already. Sorry, Jordan. But uh, no one's working it. Let's up the priority of those. There we go. Because uh, we need more food variety in the colony to make, well, to make the actual beavers live longer. I don't know how, how I'm meant to make bots bots live longer. So why why is no one working down here? What don't you have? You don't have bot limbs. What about you? You also don't have bot limbs. Okay, who's making the limbs? Why are you letting the team down? So Nate's making the heads now. General Tesla's making the chassis. Ah, oh, Kengineer Buddy is making the bot limbs. What are you missing? Oh, he's missing gears. Okay, we gotta find, we gotta go find some gears. So yeah, we're making gears over this way. Oh, there's no one in there. There's no one in there. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's unlock this for bots and then we'll shove. Oh no, I've up the pro. <laughs> I don't have enough bots. You're going to have to super up the priority. All right, there you go. Ravenclaw 67 and Paler has gone in there. So we'll be making gears 24-7 now. I'm assuming we've got the planks. How many planks do we actually have? Oh, we got 60, 64-ish. Okay, that should be fine. I might turn off the, the treated planks. Yes, yeah, so they're all turned off now so that we're not making any more of them. We're not wasting planks here. Although actually, we're not 
We're literally not making gears. Oh, have these? These have had a makeover, have they? They got like two saw blades out the roof now. Anyway, up the priority of those. <laughs> yes, I'm aware I just up the priority of everything until everything works. All right, okay. So I think that's back under control. I feel like what I might do, I might try and merge all my power networks. Because look, we got engines up here. We got engines way over this way. If I can just merge them all together into one network, I feel like we should cope a bit better. So the question is, I guess, how the hell do we do that? I mean, oh, no, look. The geothermal plant's back. The mod's back, is it? I've got to unlock it again. That's annoying. Oh, I am build it again. <laughs> It was so expensive. Oh, but I am tempted. That's 16,000 HP. I tell you what, I tell you what. Let's let's connect it all together with shafts. So literally, if we just start building, we just got to work out where we're taking this. So we're coming along here, I think. I need lots of corners like that. And then I think think if we do a corner there then we can probably do like a straight and then oh man how do i actually want to connect to these i think we'll use platforms to get over like these gaps but then we're gonna we're gonna want to be over that path so we're gonna want to use one of these a high power shaft that gets power up and down slopes so that's good then we just platform over this we're gonna need a double there because there's stairs then i can probably come down again onto the singles and go like through there hang on mr bot why why are you sat on your ass oh because we actually we've got too many gears now our gear storage is completely full okay i'll tell you what then we'll go back to normal beavers on there then we can slowly start unpausing these so as we get more bots more will be built but nice for now we'll continue our shafting over this way we'll high power shaft down there do that along this way actually instead of building platforms everywhere use what you You've got Matt. So we're going to go on to these roofs there. That looks good. And then I think I should be able to connect power if I get rid of that path. We do a little path around this. So basically, I've put a load of platforms up there. My plan is we put a T junction there with all the top stuff connected. So it goes all the way around. So it sort of looks like that. But then we can do a high power shaft down there and into that building like that. So then we're splitting off the power so that all of these buildings will be powered. But then we can continue our journey because we've got to get over to these. So high power shaft down to that level. Then if we just cross the river to there, put a cheeky corner in like that. Then we can high power shaft up to there. And then in order to get past that, I guess we go up one more time and then down that side with platforms over the path. Nice. Okay, we made it. We actually made it. I think because all these buildings are connected. Oh no, they're not connected together. Oh, we've got to keep on going because we've got to end up over this way. Okay, right, right. How do we do this? How do we do this? We come out of there, high power shaft up. Ignore the fact there's a drought coming soon. Platform over to there. I mean, to be honest, we may have to lose the medical beds. I mean, they're, they're not being used. You can see popularity, absolutely nothing. So yeah, let's just delete those. Then we can shaft along this edge, go up onto the mushroom grower, and then we're going to end up on this side by doing that. And then we literally just come all the way along here. And then we should be able to connect into the back there. Lovely, jubbly. Yeah, may as well shove another engine down as there's room. But yeah, essentially, that is... That took so long, but that is the network completely joined together. And my aim is over this side, we'll add another another geothermal station. Since we have the, the bot beavers, they should be able to do that quite nicely. So we'll unlock that for 3000 science. Oh no, I forgot it can't go anywhere. It's got to go. Oh yeah, it can just go on that one. I forgot. I forgot that's still there. The underground ruins. Okay, decent. So you go on that way. Where's the actual... The Okay, the door's that side. So yeah, I guess that works. And then we can shove a cooling tower on top so we don't lose water. And then we've just got to get to the front door, which should be reasonably easy, to be fair. Nice. And then we're almost back to where we were before this update ruined all the mods. All right, so the good news is the iron bots are they are literally multiplying like anything. We've got 29 bots at the moment. So I guess let's just unpause all of these. All right, nice. So we're, we've pretty much doubled our bot production. And as we keep making more bots, we can then start adding them to like... All of these. Hang on, why, why don't you have power? Oh, it's because no one's working the power wheel. All right, you know what to do. Up the priority. Oh, it's because it's because we're in the drought, aren't we? The dry season. Yeah, there's usually water going down the back. Okay, well, that's fine. What I am concerned about, though, there's there seems to be quite a lot of bots with, uh, yeah, that are out of energy. And it looks like all the bots... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm glad this is dark and you can't see the detail here. But basically, that rod there goes it goes somewhere into the beaver to um to energize them, shall we say? Um, but since they're all all full up, we probably need a few more. Um, it's probably worth dotting them around as well. So over this way, I guess we can just extend this path along there, and then we can delete that shaft, that shaft, and that shaft. And then add more charging stations. We can then do the same up here where we were building more shafts along the edge. They may as well just be charging stations because they will carry power through them. And then since this is where most of our bots are, I think I will just add a few along here. Now the trouble with severing that though is they're the engines powering everything. So when I do that, we will be we will lose power everywhere for a while. But I think it's probably worthwhile. So let's get Let's get three more in. All right, and then I guess we just need to fast forward a while and uh, see how things get on. All right, so many, many beaver decades have passed. But, uh, oh, that is up and right. I did not think this actually had... Oh, interesting. It doesn't have people in it. I mean, beavers. But yeah, the beaver grinder... Sorry, the beaver nuclear power plant is now completed. Um, I'm not actually going to put beavers to work in it. Look, I super low prioritized and I'm going there. But let's unlock it for bots. Biff. 50,000 science points needed. Now we're up to 113,000, so not too bad. So we'll unlock that and then put the priority up to normal. Oh, no free bots. Huh? Okay, let's raise it a little bit more. Then add four spots. You can see in here we have 52 beaver bots. Now I'm going to unlock the cooling tower as well, just so that's creating water, because that's my biggest fear at the moment. Water levels. The amount of drinking water stored could drop low now, because this thing gets through it all right uh, but you can now see we are making we're making 20,000 hp and we're only using 12 so that is fantastic um i ended up prioritizing the the shafts and stuff around here so all of this is all one power network now it literally all works perfectly so that is great uh the dam not quite finished but we have started work on this side as well so you can see beavers they come around this side and they're they're working this direction as well as the original bit as well so we should join at some point um, and what I'll probably do, actually, because this is where we're getting all our wood from, from our little island we made a few episodes ago. So it might be worth actually doing like a little shortcut, get down to there. Because uh, by the time these guys get over here, you can see, look, they're thirsty. We saw a second go, it was pitch black nighttime while they were building. Whereas if the wood's being chopped there, rather than going all the way around this entire thing, you could speed it up very quickly. Hmm... Hmm. Either way, I think that's one for another time because we're going to leave that there. Oh, man. We have nuclear energy again. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with how far we've come. But yeah, whether we do one more episode or whether we just leave it there, I do actually, I do want to finish the dam. But uh, let me know in the comments what you want to do. And if you have any suggestions for what I should do for the next series of the Timberborners, uh, let me know. There is actually a new beaver faction, but they're a mod, so it could be ropey, but might be worth trying. Alternatively, a challenge map like this one that was flooding to start with. I mean, it's really, a really really doesn't flood now. It's pretty much normal Timberborns gameplay. But yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love, and giga dams. Bye, guys!